Boom, two rods back on the dance floor, one in the net. Can't get better. Mm. Or maybe it can, a bit drier would be nice. Well, what a stunning little cracker. And my first fish from the Monument 2 RH Fisheries. And I'll tell you what, we turned up yesterday to a minus two frost and thought then that the conditions couldn't get any worse. Woke up this morning, cloud cover, little bit of rain. Looks beautiful, doesn't it? It looks very carpy, but it is absolutely taters, freezing. But we managed to nick him. I don't think we've got it quite right yet, but if we nick another one, then, well, quite frankly, we'll talk you through it. <laughs> Look at that, and quite frankly, the worst conditions you can have. Yes, it's November, and yes, you can have big hits, but minus two when we arrived, freezing cold rain going in yesterday, zero degrees and a heavy frost today, two bites under our belt, 22 pound four, lovely jubbly, tactics are working. Let's have a look at them. Well, it doesn't matter where I am, what time of year, or to be fair, what country I'm in, my carp rigs very rarely change. Lead size may and hook size may, depending on the fish and the distance, but the actual mechanics of it, very, very simple, very, very strong. 15 pound touchdown, pretty much use it anywhere. Even if I'm fishing for small fish, it sinks very, very well, and you don't have to pull their head off. 15 inches of dark matter tubing, hybrid lead clip, 15 pound end trap soft, my favorite hook link material and a size six wide gate there with a tiny little 12 mil wafter, which takes the weight of the hook away. Now I said in a previous video, small baits in the winter time, get more bites. Big hooks, very difficult for fish to deal with. So that is a very good combination in my mind, but that little pile of attraction on the end is what's making the difference. Smells absolutely beautiful and there's very little food content in there. I've literally got the cell stick mix, We've crushed down essential cell boilie. Um, I just literally got my crusher out of the bag, carry it everywhere I go and smashed it into dust. And now I've just stuck a really good helping of the stick mix liquid. This is the essential cell. To be fair, I'm happy to use them all and I'm happy to mix them all up as well. And just made it into almost just slightly smaller than a golf ball size. Now I came down here on the very first day and it was absolutely taters, freezing cold. And I put a bit of gear out and it was obvious they didn't want it because I blanked. Um, the next day I decided to fish it almost match fishing style to be fair, spend a lot of time with Adam Rooney, spend a lot of time with Steve Ringer, two of the best anglers I've ever seen on the bank in any genre, carp fishing, barbel fishing, match fishing, whatever, those guys are mustard and they're stuck in a swim and they have to make the best of it. And so I sort of took a little bit of a tactic out of their book, clipped up to 15 and a half wraps and decided to stick the rigs on the clock. And by that, I mean every 90 minutes, I started to recast on the same clip, on the, exactly the same spot. So I'm only putting in tiny little piles of bait, but I'm gradually building the swim. And over the course of the trip, we've nicked a couple of bites. I will say this, however, there's been plenty of other anglers on here nicking bites also, but in the conditions that we've been faced with, that has served me very, very well. Well, it's definitely last chance saloon. Rods are on the floor, stones are on the spools, and quite frankly, it hasn't been mega prolific for me, but it's the first time I've fished the venue. I think if the locals were in here, they probably would have nicked one or two bites because they've done better than me in other swims, and that's fair to say. Um, but it's been brilliant. I love coming to new venues. I've had a wander around Monument One as well, which is absolutely stunning. This is only four years old, believe it or not. The fish are awesome, and the venue in the summer will be absolutely spectacular as well. So, hey, I'll definitely be back because I think there's a big hit on the cards and my name's on it.